And you not old. That's right. That's right. Brother Todd Bill, you're not old. You're young men. Brother Caldoun, you're not old. You're young. And you're full of wisdom. And a whole city, a state could awaken from your lips alone. You don't have to worry about money. The coin is in the fish's mouth. That's right. You don't even need a, a hook anymore. Just get your net, but cast it on the right, right side. Go ahead. Yeah. Watch out for the left side. Don't mess with the left side. And now, dear brothers, sisters, sisters, excuse me. I've been very one-sided today. I'm going back to Chicago with the help of our love to bury a beautiful young man. Yes, sir. Beautiful. You remember. Brother Salim. Yes, sir. Brother Salim's name before was Brother Robert C-25. Brother Robert and his dear wife Celestina produced four children. One, no, no, not him. One of his sons, 20 years old, I was putting him through college. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young man. He was a leader. Yes, sir. Handsome. Yes, sir. Faithful. Hard working. I sent him to South Carolina State University along with my son. But he outshined my son. Because my son, being my son, felt that he's saddled with the reputation of his father and he's trying to get away from me to say to the boys, look, I'm just like you. And he was. He <laughs> looked almost like that. <laughs> he's a good boy. Yes, sir. But they got to find their way. But Salim's son was stronger in faith. And he turned the campus literally inside out and upside down for Allah and the messenger. Everybody that knew him, that he touched, loved him. This past week, Wednesday, they found him hung in his dormitory. We thought at first it was foul play, but we found out it was suicide. I'd like to close on this serious note. <clears throat> What could problem a young man so that he would judge himself and take his life? I say to all of us, when Allah came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad Faraz, he knew we were sinful. And there's no sin that we commit that he don't know about. So if you can't hide from God, don't worry about being exposed before men. There's not one person in this room who hasn't done something that we would be ashamed of if it were known. True? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, if you recall, Dr. King, when J. Edgar Hoover found something in his life that wasn't righteous or didn't appear to be righteous according to Hoover's view, he told Dr. King that he should commit suicide. 
because if he didn't, we're going to expose you to your wife and to the world as a fraud, a fake. Martin Luther King told who? Do what you have to do. And Hoover sent a tape to Coretta Scott King that they had recorded in a bedroom of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's how wicked J. Edgar Hoover was. <laughs> I got that one from Brother Collin. Boy, that brother Colin can fix it, you hear me? That brother can fix it. That's right. Jay Edgar Hooper. <laughs> Big sissy. He wasn't as good as some of them that's coming out of the closet. He chose to stay in the closet. But anyway, Jay Edgar. <laughs> wanted Martin Luther King to commit suicide. And he refused. I want to say to you young brothers and sisters, suicide is on the increase among our young people. Why would you end your life? What is so terrible that you can't Face it with God and overcome it. My concluding statement is I know that my brother and spiritual son Aaron would not have taken his life if he were not momentarily in sin. There is a law, according to what Minister Ali, my Minister of Health, has told us, that even if you say, and I think I'll kill somebody, or I'll take my own life, just on saying it, you can be committed for observation for at least three weeks. So we need to listen to each other. Yes, sir. And stop covering up one another. See, we think we're snitching if we say, I see, I see brother so-and-so in the package store. He got him a bottle of gin. But he's my buddy. I ain't going to tell the authorities. I'm not going to tell the mosque. So you go to your man and you say, look, man, I see what you do. You better cool because I'm going to tell but the brother who's going to take a shot at Jim needs some help. Yes, sir. Right. You trying to keep him from maybe getting a censure. But you may be keeping him alive by following the law. Report all weakness, slackness, and wrongdoing. See? Anyway, our young brother hung himself. And the campus is devastated. They had to rush counselors in there because the campus loved them so. You wouldn't believe that a student has affected state and city politicians. They're thinking about just closing the school down for a while to get the people together. They had to send some students home. They couldn't handle it. That's how great his impact and I imagine back in Chicago today is rough because he was very, 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 very well loved. But what lesson is there in it? I'm going to let you go now. Here's the lesson. 